Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. And today, we're going to be checking out the brand new NECA toys straight from the Mirage Comics toy line. Very excited to have the Ninja Rat Master, Splinter, now in the collection. Very cool, gorgeous Kevin Eastman artwork adorns the box. Very old school, while also being the colorway version. Notice that he has the red, the typical splinter kimono color that we've known and loved for years, right? To be continued, some new characters on the way. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here is the barcode as well. He is starting to hit Target store shelves now as part of their Freak Out Geek Out event. Now, splinter typically black and white, original TMNT comics, when they did color for the graphic novels, he was in more of a brown, tattered looking kimono deal, right? It wasn't until later when they recolored everything and put Splinter into a red kimono. And thus, we have the figure we be looking at today. So, in either case, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, straight from Mirage Comics, the brand new Splinter by NECA Toys. And while I got all you ninja masters here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Got a lot of Ninja Turtle videos for those interested. But we'll kick it off with a look at the Mouser. The Mouser is one we have seen before in the Mirage Comics line. It's new for me though, so I'm stoked on that. Painted beautifully. Nice open mouth. Very cool. And you can take a chunk out of Splinter's leg if you so deem it necessary, right? For those of you who know what I'm talking about, I love the jaw moves. You get a little rotation in the actual head, the neck, and then down to the legs with the feet and all that great stuff. So it does look good. The color is really nice. They have those little black etch marks all over every which way, and they look really good. Very intentional, no slop. Every single mark looks like it should be there, and that's what I love about NECA with their comics and cell shade and everything else. Now, you do get an Utrom. It's very well done. I love the expression on the little guy's face. If you remember the issue, Splinter stumbles into the TCRI factory, and madness ensues, right? Turtles go to space, and a fight at Splinter. But if you're interested in how the Utroms look with the recent Utrom soldier... The Utram Soldier's Utram is a little bit smaller than this new Utram that comes with Splinter. Got that on the first take. Check me out. But again, the colors on it, the wild expression, the teeth. He's doing a little pointy thing. I love it. This guy is very cool. Now you get a lot of hands. You can get pointing hands to reprimand Raphael, right? Oh, I'm so disappointed in you, my son. That whole deal. You get the idea. But they're all painted very nicely. They're all brown with a little bit of the black etchings. And you get the TCRI spilt broken canister with all the mutagen coming out of it, which is an awesome accessory. I gotta tell you, that is cool. Splinter, because of his size and all the different accessories that you get with him, he's largely an accessory pack, but it all makes sense, especially with the four baby turtles. Remember that? Them walking around the ooze. And then whatever variation you want to go off of, he collects them in a coffee can and you get the idea. But you can recreate that and that's pretty cool. And I totally dig that. That is awesome. I love the spillature. If the spillature of the TCRI mutagen was a little bit bigger, that would have been ideal. But it rocks. I totally love that. And you get a little pre-mutated splinter and he's doing his whole martial arts thing. Very cool, right? So if splinter wanted to recount his memories... You can totally have a battle damage shredder holding a pre-mutated splinter, right? Very cool. There's no articulation. He's a slug of a figure, but he looks awesome. And you get a teapot. And I totally dig this teapot. It's very simple. Again, much like the mouser, a little bit of etchings. You got a handle. You can put tea in it if you want. You get a little mug cup too. So you can have Leonardo filling up splinter's cup when he's thirsty get in here hey help me out bring the tea you get the idea i do wish that the teapot had a lid though but you could pour yourself a cup take a swig whatever weird things you do when you're by yourself in your toy office right 
<laughs> then you get his walking stick or shillelagh, right? You can say that. But it's done nicely, and it is the perfect size. He can hold it with two hands, and you can bust up some mousers proper. So definitely dig that. Really well done. It's just perfect accessories that match the character, and I love that because Splinter, he himself, is awesome. He's got some cloth goods. He's got a great sculpt to him. He's got great paint. He's a very simple figure, but it works. And all of the accessories bring him to life. You get a lot of rotation out of the head. It's very cool. One thing I would have loved is either if the head, the mouth on this actually moved, had articulation, or you had an extra head portrait. The kimono is cool. It's got the whole red look to it. Although, I do wish it would have been the other normal color before they changed the colors, right? So, I'm sure they'll eventually do that, right? They always do. But it doesn't bunch up. It doesn't hinder him. It's big enough. It looks good. He's got a bendy wire tail, which the bendiness of it only goes to about right there, whereas the rest of the tail is just kind of free-for-all. But you get a nice momentum out of it, and it could kind of be used as a stability platform for him. Now, the arms... Again, nothing I had to heat up on this guy, nothing at the bicep, there's nothing there in terms of articulation, but you get plenty of articulation out of the shoulders and the arms, you got single jointed elbows, you got the wrists. It's a nice juxtaposition to what I said about the battle damage shredder, right? You don't have to heat anything up, he's got the waist, he's got single jointed rat knees, right? <laughs> They will spin at the knee, and then you got the foot that goes up and down and left and right. So, plenty of articulation for a Ninja Rat Master. While not being overly done, overly cumbersome, I totally dig that. And no, I'm not pulling the kimono off. You can do that on your own. I'll never get it back on. And in terms of scalature from Turtle to Shredder, Splinter is an excellent height. In the original comics, Splinter was very teeny tiny. He's not... The giant rat that he's become in modern day interpretations of the TMNT. So that will wrap it up for my real quick look at the new Mirage Comics. The classic colorways variant of Splinter. And I gotta tell you, with the whole Mirage thing going on, whether or not you like the colorway classics or the black and white figures or the normal colors, they really are doing a bang up job just in terms of sculpts, figure selection, it's awesome. It's a home run through and through, and this Splinter is no exception. But I gotta tell you, the accessories really make this character. Nothing is cooler, nothing is better when you have a classic character from a comic or a cartoon, and they really go deep cut. And that's exactly what they did, and they nailed it. So, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Mirage Comics. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, stay tuned for more TMNT. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.